Well, I think most of us are trying to be environmentally responsible now, but when you look at manufacturers' products, how do you know which company is being green and which one isn't? To help us understand, we've got Francis Edmonds with us from HP. Thanks for joining us on the show. You're very welcome. So I, I go into a store and there's all sorts of different claims about how green one product is over another. Like, how do you wade through all that information and, and know what's right and what's not? It's very tough, isn't it? And I, I really sympathize with people who are trying to make the right decision. Most customers we know today are interested in making the right decision, so HP has come up with a new solution. It's called Eco Highlights, and it's a label that you will see actually on the box of our products that enable you to differentiate those products that have environmentally preferable features, like auto duplexing, like Energy Star Qualified, those kind of features. Obviously, it's difficult because not all of those features apply to every different product we make. So if it was an inkjet cartridge, for instance, Energy Star Qualified doesn't relate, so no. you have to pick a different set of criteria. So it's a tough subject, but it's one that we feel we're doing a good job on. Well, let's talk about the packaging then of the products. Obviously, that's a huge component of anything that you buy. We have a number of different initiatives which uh, we've shown significant greenhouse gas reductions in. Every time you make a change that makes your packaging smaller, you can get more per truck, which means that your transportation efficiency is much better. So looking for packaging that has recycled content in it is 100% recyclable itself. Small, neat, uh, and obviously easy to recycle is uh, very important for packaging. Let's then talk about uh, the supply chain as well, like getting the printer from manufacturing to the store. I mean, there's a whole, you know, uh, infrastructure there that people aren't really aware of and, and how it impacts the environment. Yes, and HP has been doing a great job on a lot of our uh, supply chain initiatives. Uh, we were the first people to disclose our factory locations. Last year, we are the first company to actually calculate the greenhouse gas emissions from our supply chain, which is huge. And most companies haven't even started down that path. So if you haven't measured it, you can't do something about it. But well, just going back to you saying you're measuring the carbon footprint in your entire supply chain, why is that significant? Because it's so big. Uh, we spend about $50 billion a year building the products that our customers want to use. And if we're not thinking about that part of the supply chain, we're ignoring perhaps one of the bigger areas that we could have an impact on. When we look at the relative impact we can have, if we just focused on our own facilities like this one, which we've already done, very minimal impact. Next, it would be our supply chain, big impact again. And then how our customers use our products is probably the biggest impact that we can have, which is why we have such a big focus on energy efficiency, for instance. We have over a thousand patents in energy efficiency, um, designing for our customers to be lowering their own environmental footprint. Well, thanks for coming on the show and explaining all of this to us. You're very welcome. Francis Edmonds from HP.